Alright, so in this video we are going to be going over how to upload and use one of our pre-built pie chart models and later we'll also be showing you how to create your very own. If you go to docs.finproducts.com you can find an entire page on this particular pie chart. We have instructions on how to build it from scratch and we even offer a completed pre-built model of the chart that you can simply download and upload to your server. To download the model, click on the download link. Once it's downloaded, go to Finstack, go to your app menu, click on Folio, and select the Restore tool. Drag and drop your downloaded zip on top of the Choose File button and select Upload to upload the model to your Finstack server. Now the model will be available as a component within the graphics builder. So now, anytime you're in a graphic and decide you want to use the pie chart model, all you need to do is drag it out and add a string tag to the model called Query. This will allow you to dynamically put in your own Axon Query to populate the pie charts data. So if you took the route of uploading our pre-built model to your server, that's essentially all you need to do. Once it's uploaded to your server, you can simply drag out the pie chart model add a query tag to it and it will just work. Now for the next portion of this video I'll go ahead and demonstrate how to create your own pie chart model from scratch. The first thing you'll want to do is create a brand new graphics page for you to work on. Next you'll need to go into your components panel and drag out an AM chart. We'll need to create a group for this to work so go ahead and just bring out any extra component uh, so that we can create the group. In this case I'll use a label. Select both of the components, right click on them and create a group. Once you have your group, you can go into the layers panel, open the group and delete the extra component so that you only have the AM chart within the group. The next thing we'll want to do is add a unique tag to your group. So make sure you have the group itself selected, then go ahead and add in a unique tag. The tag is completely arbitrary, but will, be, will, but will need to be something unique since we'll be running the program on it. In this case, my unique tag will be my chart. Okay, before we go any further, let's go ahead and maximize the size of the AM chart and make it fully scalable. To do this, simply select your group and change the width and height to run off percentage instead of pixels, and then set the percentages to be 100%. This will max out the group itself. You will need to do this on both the group and the AM chart component. Once you're done, select the group itself and set the X and Y coordinates to be 0 and 0 so that they fit nicely within the workspace. Okay, so now that we have the chart position and size set up, we can start by creating our program. As you may recall, from an earlier step, we had added a unique tag to the group, which is what the program is going to be running on. In my case, the unique tag was called my chart, so I will set that as my program target filter. Feel free to name your program anything you'd like. Next, we're going to want to create our variables. In Finstack, there has been logic added so that if a component has a query tag on it, the program will automatically recognize that as the virtual point ref. So in this case, we will want to create a point variable that grabs its ID from the virtual point ref. To keep this variable dynamic, we can use a dollar sign in front of the virtual point ref so that it's not hard coded. Okay, so next we will want to write our program. If you are experienced with coding, you may fill this in however which way you'd like. But if you are not, feel free to copy the code listed in the docs page and use that as your starting point. The first section of this program is taking the values of the query and making it usable within the program. The next section allows for relative bubbles to work when we click on any slice of the pie chart. And the third and final section is what actually draws and defines the pie chart itself. The data comes from the AM chart demos and can be altered to a certain extent if you know what you're doing. So as you see here, when we go to the AM Charts website and open up the pie chart source code, we see that it's the same exact thing that we had in our program. Um, except, of course, the data provider, uh, in our case, is grabbing data from the, uh, the query point. Okay. Now going back to our program, it's very important to note that in this case, if you look at line 8 in the program, there is a part that says chart.view. The chart portion or the, that text there has to match the name of your AM chart exactly for this to work. It basically looks within your model and finds something with the same name. And as you can see in our layers, our chart is spelled exactly like it is in line 8. 
So if you happen to change your chart's name, just make sure to update line 8 so that it matches what your chart is called. Okay. Some other things you can change are the value fields and the title fields, which we have currently by default set to Curval and Equip Ref Dis. So once you're done with your program, go ahead and close it out, and you can test your model out by adding a query string tag to the group itself. The value of the query string tag should be a valid axon query. So you may need to build your query in Folio and make sure it has the results you'd like to see. Once you have your query, go ahead and paste it within the value section of the query string tag and then open the preview window to make sure your program code works. Once you've approved that your model works the way you'd like it to, go ahead and delete the query tag so that it does not get hard coded onto your model. Switch the property view to basic, rename your group and hit the save button to save it as a reusable model and you're done. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding the tutorial, please feel free to contact us at support at j2inn.com. Thanks for watching.